Homes by Sangobang. Hello everyone and welcome to Homes. Today we are traveling to the United Arab Emirates to talk about the circular economy and its potential role in the construction sector with Raya Jawar. She is an associate sustainability engineer at Borough Hapold, and she is involved in a number of design and strategic projects across the building environment sector. The issue is actually the linear economy in the construction industry. A take, make, dispose approach or, or way of doing things, which leads to an increase in carbon emission, which leads to a depletion of our natural uh, resources, our natural capital, the air we breathe, the water we drink, the soil we use to grow food in the UAE. So consequently, that take, make, dispose approach, whether it's in, in the material industry within the built environment, will lead to a, a decrease in quality of life. But there is also an economic aspect of it. When we take, make and dispose waste, and what we call as waste is sometimes not waste, is a resource. So we are losing material. We are losing value. We're losing economic value that can be really reintroduced into our economy. The challenge is, in my opinion, that there is a bit of confusion on the the concept of circularity or what does a circular material mean. But it is important to inject circularity to define it properly, to understand that it's not only about recycling material, but it's about designing them to design waste out. So rethinking the design of the material and others. So I would say really the first step is really being clear on the definition. And the second step is kind of integrating and enhancing the partnerships and the collaboration between the different uh, stakeholders across the value chain, whether it's the contractors that is going to use the material or the manufacturer that is going to produce and the supplier that is going to sell the material. How I see it in the future is, is actually a sector where construction sectors where material or either give back to the technosphere, to the production cycle. And as an example, any wasted steel product or gypsum board product from a construction site going back to the manufacturing and the production of steel or gypsum board, for example. It's also a sector or an industry where material not only go back to the technosphere or the production cycle, but wherever possible, the material goes back to nature whether the waste of the sector is sand or glass or anything that can go back to nature, that is also what I see uh, defining circular economy and what I hope to see uh, happening in, in the UAE. This is the end of this episode. Thanks to Raya Jawar for sharing with us her hopes for the future of circular economy in the United Arab Emirates and go to other episodes to better understand the local issues of homes. Thank you.